I'm taking on not one, but two food challenges at once. And that's all coming after a carb-filled breakfast, a high-calorie lunch, and lots of delicious Tennessee donuts. For the first time in a long time, I may have bitten off a bit more than I could chew. Mm, so much meat. Oh. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, but more importantly, welcome back to the fourth episode of Electric Eats the World. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee, where there's tons of amazing music, great people, but more importantly, a lot of delicious food. In this episode, I'm gonna be going to some of the most iconic food spots, and at the very end, I'm gonna take down one of the biggest challenges in the area. Everyone, tomorrow the games begin. I got a lot of food to eat, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, everyone, I am so excited for today. Lots of awesome places to go to, but before I get into all of the food, I gotta get a workout in. 15 miles of running. Now, it's time to get the day officially started. The first spot I'm heading to is Loveless Cafe. Loveless Cafe opened its doors about 50 years ago and has been a Tennessee landmark ever since. Loveless specializes in Southern cooking and is most known for their biscuits, country ham, and red eye gravy. Breakfast at Loveless is served all day and all of their dishes are made from scratch. Going into this meal, I knew that this breakfast was definitely going to be one to remember. Now, Loveless Cafe is the number one breakfast spot in Tennessee. They're known for their biscuits and jam, and I'm very, very excited to try it out. And you all know me, I absolutely love breakfast. So I'm gonna get the country fried steak, and then I'm gonna do the breakfast sandwich, and then I'm gonna do a pulled pork barbecue omelet, please. And then I'm gonna do the cinnamon raisin French toast. How big are the pancakes? They're about this big. I'll get two of them. And then I'll get that with- like bacon? Yeah, I'll do bacon. Thanks so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I don't want to watch you. <laughs> so what do you do? You just review the few or are you going to eat all of it? I'm going to eat all of it. All right, everybody, it's time to get today officially started. I am so excited for this. We have cinnamon raisin French toast, country fried steak with their signature hash brown casserole. So excited to try that. Pancakes right here, a pulled pork omelet, their signature biscuits and jam right there, and a breakfast sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there, and total macros will be right up there as well. Without further ado, everybody, this is meal number one. Let's do this. All right, everybody, I had to switch angles a little bit. Now it's time to get this started. Three, two, one. All right, now it's time to try their hash brown or a casserole. Mm, that was amazing. All right, now it's time to get into their breakfast sandwich. This has their signature ham on it. Let's try it out, see how it is. All right, so now it's time to try their famous preserves, biscuits. It's a big thing in the South. Wow. All right, now it's time to try their cheesy grits. Oh man, it tastes like mac and cheese. All right, so the pancakes are down. Now I'm gonna try out their cinnamon raisin French toast. Okay. Now these are their peach preserves. I'm gonna say peaches and custard. Strawberry comes in close second. Now this is their pulled pork omelet right here. That was absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. Now it's time to move on with the rest of the day. Everyone, that was absolutely amazing. Loveless just has such good food. I would say my favorite thing was that country fried steak. So, so good. And of course, the biscuits and the preserves were amazing as well. If you're ever in Tennessee, you definitely gotta come check out Loveless Cafe. It's an absolutely amazing, amazing spot to eat. Now everyone, it's time to get on with the rest of the day. For my second stop, I decided to visit another Tennessee essential, the world famous Hattie B's Hot Chicken. Hot chicken is a type of fried chicken that's a local specialty in Nashville, Tennessee. And it would be a crime to come all the way to Nashville and not get some Hattie B's Hot Chicken. Alrighty, everyone, the hot chicken has been acquired. Normally, Electric Eats the World videos are reserved for local food spots, but I'm in Tennessee, and there's a fast food place that I've never, ever had before. So I'm gonna be stopping there to get some items for meal number two. I've heard some good things about this place, so I'm very much looking forward to this. It's time to see what Steak and Shake is all about. Hi, welcome to Steak and Shake, Wyoming, California. Hi there, what's your most popular item? Uh, our number three, our Frisco 
Okay, can I get one of your Frisco melts, please? I will go ahead and do the garlic steak burger, just single. One order of onion rings, please. One cup of chili, please. Two large Diet Cokes, and that'll be it. Thank you so much. I'm not used to having people call me darling. I kind of like it. Thanks so much, have a good day. Uh -huh, you too. Thank you. Steak and Shake has been acquired. It's time for lunch. Everyone, I am so excited for meal number two. We have some absolutely delicious food on this table right now. And by the way, welcome to my hotel room. This is kind of where I'm setting up for meal number two. I am just going to get all this out and presentable because I have a lot of deliciousness. <laughs> All right, everyone, I have a lot of food on the table right now. I actually did not anticipate that this is gonna be this big, but oh well, here we are. So I have Steak and Shake over here. I'm very excited to try that out, but I'm actually more excited to try out the very famous Hattie B's Hot Chicken. If you ever come to Tennessee, you'll hear a lot about Hattie B's. I got a bunch of their sides. They have peach cobbler, mac and cheese, and more. So I'm gonna be getting into that as well. And they threw in some waffles on the side too. I'm gonna try to pace myself through this one. I do have a food challenge tonight and there's one more place I wanna stop at before the food challenge. But regardless, it's a lot of delicious food. So I'm gonna enjoy this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. Without further ado, everyone, this is meal number two. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the steak and shake first. This is their garlic burger, three, two, one. Bro, you know what? That's not gonna get one fire. I guess two fires. Mm. Easily one of the best burgers I've ever had. Wow. Apparently their Frisco milk is their most popular item. So let's see if it's gonna be delicious. Mmm. That's good. Right, chili is down so far. It's absolutely amazing. The steak and shake is fully completed. I'm gonna say everyone that steak and shake gets my seal of approval. I wish they had more steak and shakes out in California because I would be going there. I'm curious if you've tried steak and shake before, let me know what you think down below. I have been looking forward to this so much. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna try their chicken sandwich first. So there we have it everybody, the legendary Hattie B's hot chicken. I definitely gotta eat this with a pickle. Put that right there, let's get into it. That is gonna get a W. Oh, W. Mm. Now I'm gonna move on over to one of their most popular sides right here. This is their famous mac and cheese. If this is a white cheddar mac and cheese, I might lose my mind. And now we have the actual fried chicken. The chicken sandwich I got was mild. The wings that I got are medium. So we'll see how spicy these are gonna be. I've been a lot better with spice lately, so you know, that's good. Just in case they're a little too spicy, I got some of Hattie B's Ranch right over here and some of their comeback sauce. I have no idea what the comeback sauce is, but I'm gonna find out here in just a few seconds. Oh my goodness, a crunch on that. Did you hear that? Mm. Now I'm gonna try some of their comeback sauce right here. I'm not sure if the sauce is spicy, but we'll find out. It's not spicy to me, it's good. Mm. Now for one of the most important parts. It's time to try out their ranch. It's time to see if it meets my, my requirements. It's not bad. All right, everybody, well, Hattie B's chicken. Whew, that was good. Now, Excited about this as well. I got some of their regular chicken with some crinkle fries, which unfortunately are a little soggy, which kind of sucks, but oh well. What I just ate was medium and I can already feel the heat on these. It's also like 93 degrees outside. Yeah, I feel pretty hot right now, but you know, that's it. The thing I'm gonna do actually for these tenders is make a little, little sandwich. Where are my chicken and waffles people at? Comment down below. <clears throat> All right, I need a little bit of a change in scenery here. So now I'm gonna try out their bacon and cheese grits. I'm excited about these, because I actually really like grits, and I really like bacon and cheese, so let's see how these are gonna taste. 
Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna say right now, everyone, if you're a person that's kind of like, eh, with spice, hot chicken is definitely something you definitely need to be weary of. You can always just bring ranch. Ranch fixes everything. <laughs> just because I had to do it. Coleslaw, bread, hot chicken. That's how it's supposed to be eaten. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can't forget the pickle. Well, that chicken's down. I think I'm gonna take a pass on the uh, fries just because I have a feeling I'm gonna be eating a lot of fries in the challenge tonight, and those are like a tad bit soggy. What I am gonna eat is their peach cobbler right here. The peach cobbler is absolutely amazing. Plus, you know, we gotta get our fruit in today. Mm. All right, everybody. Just like that, that is gonna be meal number two. I gotta say, Steak and Shake was absolutely amazing. Hattie B's was also so amazing. I would highly recommend both places if you're ever in Tennessee. Definitely give them a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories so far right up there. Macro so far will be right up there as well. Everyone, I do have a food challenge tonight, but there is one more place I wanna stop at before the challenge. My last stop before the food challenge was Five Daughters Bakery, the home of the 100 layer donut. The 100 layer donut is a delicious hybrid between a croissant and a donut. It takes almost three days to make one of these bad boys. Me being me, I decided to get a bunch of different flavors to eat for meal number three. <sighs> Everyone, it is time for some delicious donuts. Everyone here goes crazy over Five Daughters Donuts, which tells me that they have to be good. And for the fact that they're like $5 a donut, I would be surprised if they weren't good. All right, first box. Oh, ho, ho, man, check that out, everybody. That is our first box right there. I know you all just see six donuts, but these donuts, these are dense. That is one donut right there. Goodness, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And then I have my second box right there. Given that I have a food challenge after this, I think this is gonna be the perfect amount of donuts. But I may have some issues if some of these are filled. So hopefully not all of them are filled, because I do like filled donuts. But I also like completing food challenges. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Anyways, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there, and total macros will be right up there as well. Without further ado, it's time for meal number three. All right, so I'm gonna start with this one first. This is the milk chocolate and sprinkled. Boom. Wow. That is amazing. You can really taste the flavor on these donuts. They are so good. This one right here is the maple. Oh my goodness gracious. And there's filling on the inside. Mmm. W. Oh, W. Oh my goodness, that's one of the best maple donuts I've ever had in my entire life. I think we should get after this one right here. This is the birthday cake. Let's get into it. I think I gotta do this one next. It looks like a cinnamon roll and a muffin combined into one. Before I get into this though, if you haven't already, it would mean the world to me if you guys went down below and gave the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Doing both of those things really helps me out and it keeps me motivated to make more videos like this. So drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, there goes my phone. So it looks like we have six donuts left. I think I'm gonna get into this one right here. This is the Paleo Donut. They even have Paleo Donuts at Five Daughters Bakery. I always like to try new things, all right? No, thank you. Now it's time for the chocolate chip cookie dough. So this is another paleo donut, and this is a chocolate paleo cake base with sun butter palm whip, drizzled with paleo chocolate and topped with sunflower seeds. Hopefully it's gonna be better than that one. Not bad. All right, this one is the vanilla frosted. Oh man. I'm just so impressed with these donuts. The donuts here in Tennessee are just absolutely legendary. I feel like donuts are just always so good, but I can only imagine how they are in other countries. And speaking of countries, actually, I've seen quite a few comments on past Electric Eats the World videos from people that don't live in the United States asking me when I'm gonna go to another country. And all I can say to that, everyone, is that it's in the works. But regardless of wherever you live, drop a comment down below for where you wanna see me go for the next episode of Electric Eats the World. Now I'm gonna try this one out. This is their King Kong donut right here. Goodness, this looks dense. Oh. 
W. Oh, W mode. Okay. And of course, I had to get a Boston Creed on it. I know my boy Will Tennyson would approve of this choice. Everyone, five daughters, bakery gets a giant thumbs up from me. Except maybe, maybe just don't get that donut. That one I wasn't really that big of a fan of. Anyways, everyone, I'm gonna go and put the total calories consumed so far right up there. Macros will be right up there as well. Now, everyone, I'm gonna take a little bit of a power nap, and then it's time for the food challenge. Hey everyone, it is now time for the food challenge of this episode of Electric Eats the World. In this episode's food challenge, I'm gonna be taking on the Highway 55 Burger Challenge. In the Highway 55 Burger Challenge, I have to take down a 55 ounce burger with a side of fries and a drink. The time limit for the challenge is 30 minutes. If I can take this burger down in 30 minutes or less, I get the meal for free. Now the thing is, is I've actually eaten the Highway 55 burger before, a few years ago. So just to make this a little extra spicy, I'm gonna take this challenge up a few notches. I'm either going to attempt two Highway 55 burger challenges or I'm gonna order the challenge and a few other items. Everyone, I've eaten quite a bit of food today, so I have no idea how this challenge is gonna go, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So without further ado, everyone, it's time to head over there and get this food challenge started. We're here at Highway 55 Burgers and Shakes. It's time to get this challenge started. How many people try to do it? I mean, it doesn't happen quite often. You get it like every once in a blue moon because people are like, well, like, that's a lot of food. Right. Um, I'm gonna try to do two of them. Okay, two of them. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody, the food challenge has been ordered. I got two separate burgers. So we're doing two Highway 55 burger challenges. Th the first burger is gonna have tater tots and the second burger is gonna have french fries. I also got a shake because I love shakes. Yeah, you can just say that, Eric. Electric. We got Eric. Eric Electric going to do two of our five five challenges here tonight. It's Fifty five ounces of beef per challenge. Let's so do give it. Give him a round of applause. Cheer him on for us. Oh, those look good. Good luck, man. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. So we have two Highway Fifty Five Burger challenges right here. I got French fries on this one. I got tater tots on the other one, and I have a shake right here. So that's going to be tasty. And I also have a Diet Coke over here as well. So I have 30 minutes technically for one of these, but I'm gonna give myself a 30 minute time limit for both of these. Very much looking forward to this. This burger looks absolutely amazing. It has a lot of cheese on it. So we'll see how I do with this one. Without further ado, everyone, this is the Highway 55 Burger Challenge. Let's do this. So, so the minute you start touching, I'll start this. The minute you like start like eating. All right, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and one. All right, everyone, we're a minute and 48 seconds in. So far, it's tasting very amazing. So much meat. All right, so six and a half minutes. All the meat from the first one is down. I can say right now that this is much bigger than the burger I had a few years ago. Much, much bigger. Here we go. Let's go for the meat on the second burger. All right, everyone, well, 10 minutes in, we have uh, four patties left. I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, the amount of meat is pretty ridiculous, but you know, here I am. Got a burp. I can't. All right, 12 minutes in, 18 seconds in.
Oh man, I'm thoroughly over this meat. 15 minutes in. Alright everyone, well, 17 minutes and 40 seconds, we've made it to the last patty. And these are thick. That's so much meat. Goodness. Alright folks, so at 21 minutes, all the meat is down. That was a lot of meat. Now I gotta work the bun. All right, everyone, well, 23 minutes and 48 seconds in. The buns have been eaten, and now we gotta get to the sides. Oh, man. All right, so we're 27 minutes and 50 seconds in. Now we just got the tater tots. One minute left. Oh my gosh. We've reached the 30 minute mark. And I have like seven tater tots left. But I gotta finish strong. All right, so 31 minutes. 51 seconds. I'll take two more. Sorry, I try to be like kind of not messy. Highway 55 burger challenge times two has been completed. Uh, I gotta say everyone, that was a very delicious burger. Two of them may have been a bit unnecessary, but you know, I just gotta do my thing. If you're ever in Tennessee, head over to Highway 55. Check them out. Amazing place, amazing burgers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you gave the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna go ahead and put the last Electric Eats of the World right up there for you all to enjoy, along with another challenge that I have on my channel. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.